Season's greetings to everyone. Hello, hello to all my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your kind and unwavering support. Honestly, it is so, so, I'm so grateful. It is highly appreciated. Today I'm going to show you how I make the infamous best Jamaican sorrel, Jamaican Christmas sorrel drink, yes? Mm -hmm. It is a very popular traditional drink for Jamaican household at Christmas time. So sit down, relax, let me take you through so you can perfect the task to share with your friends and family and your invitees over Christmas. For Christmas and throughout the holiday season, this drink is a must. So stay with me, watch keenly. Do not go anywhere. Don't miss a trick, please. Okay, now you know. There it is, the nice sorrel drink. Look how rich that is. You need to sit down so you can perfect the task of making a traditional Christmas drink that you will have for Christmas and will always after you watch this video. So stick with me guys, stay tuned. Okay, thank you very much. Look at that, look how rich that is. Mm. Wow, the rum and the wine and the ginger. It is evaporating some smell to me. Oh my God. Let me taste this now and tell you. Mm. Oh, Jamaica, my grandmother. Oh, Auntie, oh my God. I remember when Auntie used to make this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm. And once you start drinking, you can't stop. Guys, so rich on it. When I hear me go along with the sorrel man, my awful, it tastes good. Woo! And the ginger, leave that little taste for your tongue. Wow. Okay, guys, so here are the ingredients that you will need to make your soil drink. I think I have about two or three packs. It would be equivalent to what you see here. I brought this from Jamaica, so I got this while I was out there, dried it, and I brought this up. So this would probably be about three three packs if you buy it in the store. So yes, you'll need your nice dried sorrel. Unfortunately, I'm not in Jamaica to have the fresh sorrel, but this is just as good, yeah? Really good. So yes, you're gonna need your sorrel, and you're gonna need your cinnamon stick. So you're gonna have your cinnamon stick here or cinnamon leaf well in my case i've got the cinnamon stick okay as well as you're gonna have your ginger you need a ginger and the ginger you'll either grate it blend it or usually we take uh, um, the bottle and just beat it but you can use something to beat the ginger these are some of my ginger that i brought from jamaica as well so you got the ginger and you will need okay your pimento berries you got the pimento berries here you probably put 10 or 12 seeds inside of it equally you can use your grown spice yeah yep grown spice also and you right for fermenting the on um, the drink you will need to have some rice you know what cool when you see your grandmother making these things they probably put about uh, a tablespoon of regular white rice also you're going to need your sugar granulated sugar or normal um plain um brown sugar you can use that some people use syrup but to each his own is basically what is you know what you desire right now for the alcohol definitely alcohol is a must in my household and i've got some friends coming over and on and believe you me me have to hide the room from them yes look me have to hide but yes they, they love the um the alcohol element of um the the drink so i'll be using my red label wine you can see the red label wine here definitely i will leave the j ray and nephew red label wine and the good old ray and nephew white rum so yes 
equally if you're in london you can use the qc rich ruby um sherry that just goes just the same and i've got this um this rebellion spice rum you can use that as well so if you don't have the jamaica rum or the red label wine this just you know is basically makes the the, the um the soil taste just as good right as i said i have some friends coming over and believe you me they want to taste the rum in the the soil yes they want me to taste the rum in a, and but me i hide it from them or else you know but anyway right okay so this is basically what you need before you uh, make your drink your sorrel your ginger raw alcohol your sugar um rice allspice pimento berries and then you have you will need your containers to pour it in but we'll talk about that later so what i'm going to do now i'm going to take this to the sink now i'm going to thoroughly wash this before it goes into the pot okay so stay with me and i'll show you what i'll do next so you know you have to thoroughly wash your soil make sure all the anything that's um hidden in the soil so look at this now you see this one is a right you see i think look at that so that's a seed there so that's why you have to wash your soil and any dirt any particles you know so basically you washed it properly run it under the top and rinse it rinse it properly there you go rinse your soil rinse it rinse it wash it and get all of this. this is a very popular drink in jamaica in any jamaica household you have to have sorrel can't have sorrel without um have your dinner without a glass of sorrel you know or even when you bake a nice rum cake you have to have a nice glass of sorrel with some ice very refreshing so now this now i'll take this over to the pot that is boiling this is a little handy blender that i use to do my ginger yeah i got it on amazon let me show you so basically you can use it to any little thing that you want to cut up you just so it does it so it blends out the ginger there it is like a handy blender really good show you again amazon you get these on amazon there you go Amazon for these is a handy blender for the kitchen. Sometimes you need something. <laughs> Instead of beating it, I just blend it out. Instead of using a big blender, you just use a hand blender. And it was good. It's very good. Right, guys. So you can tell that the water is boiling. And it's time for me to move in with my already thoroughly washed sorrel. So here I am. The water is boiling. So I'm pouring that in. See that? That's going in. See the sorrel's going in. So, right, wonderful. That looks really nice, isn't it? So this is traditional Jamaican sorrel drink for Christmas. This every Jamaican household would normally have this for Christmas. It's really, really a drink that we have. It's a traditional drink that we have for Christmas. So, right, so that water is boiled. We call it, we draw the sorrel. In Jamaica, we draw the sorrel, yeah? And then I'm going to move it with my ginger that I already blend out. So that ginger will go in and add the flavor. I can smell, wow, the ginger makes it really, really nice. You can smell it, wow. You can smell the gingers going in and that is really making the sorrel nice so there goes the ginger and then get there goes my berries a few of the berries going in and now i'm gonna throw some of the rice in and i said the rice ferment the drink so that now is boiled i will let it come to look at that look at the color look at the richness of it look at that so what have you noticed with this drink? It is so red, look at that, it is so red. And this is the process. When you boil the water 
and also let me put my cinnamon stick that is already let me just um rinse it again under the tap gonna put my cinnamon stick is gonna go in there and that will stay and release all the flavor into the drink yeah all the flavors will get released so this is a very rich color look at that look at the richness of it so this is what i will do now i will cover this and that will stay until tomorrow when it's cool then we'll go to the next process so some people prefer to use the the fresh soil some people <laughs> prefer the dry it doesn't matter because you basically get the same result you can tell but as i say my grandmother she used to boil it just like what i do now you boil the water in advance and then you pour the sorrel in and in that now it draws everything it draws all the colors and the flavors the water draw everything you know so you see it look at it in a boil the hot water and look how rich that look look at that look at the richness of that look how red that is this is the proper jamaican sorrel drink then i said no host no go without it you know so guys i'm gonna cover this now let me cover that and also what i'm going to do i'm gonna cover this i don't want not nothing escaping so i need to put a little bit of tape there now hey all right yes we need to get a little tape or something to put over that little hole our, our piece of tissue in that hole because you don't want nothing evaporating from this little hole there nothing i want all the goodness to stay in the drink so i'll put that there hold on but to try to escape me now nobody escape me <laughs> nobody escape me nobody escape me at all can't win me no not true can't win me man can't win me at all, at all, at all. So guys, get your sorrel and you can try it this way. Equally, you can boil the water, boil the sorrel. But this is the way my grandmother taught me. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cover the pot, yeah? So it savors the aroma in the pot. You see that? I'm going to cover that. Leave that for tomorrow. And then when, stay tuned, you'll see how I strain it, mix it, and the result of the process that I've just done. So guys, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere and I'll go sit down and have a drink and wait for you. All right? Woo! Grinch time! We got in Saril for Christmas. Yes! Saril and cake, Saril and chicken, Saril and rice and peas. Me are telling me, can't, I, listen, I can't wait to have this with a glass of, with some ice all right stay tuned oh my gosh the smell the aroma that is roaming in this kitchen is unbelievable oh my gosh now the sorrel has sat overnight and it's time to it's time for the big reveal it's time for the big reveal here we go remember i covered it up so nothing should escape I don't want nothing escape. I remember I plugged that little hole. So you see there, look at it. The sorrel sat protected overnight, you know, look. Mm. So it's time for us to see the results. Wow, look at that. Let me put the cover away. Look at that. Oh, this is a beauty. The color, the richness, the aroma. It's like a good perfume that makes a whole house smells good oh my gosh oh my gosh the ginger oh my gosh that gives it the taste and the strength the pimenta berries the cinnamon stick let me see look you see the cinnamon sticks so everything is in here omg and not forgetting the rice grain to ferment it yes yes guys this is the result of a good Christmas sorrel drink for all to enjoy. Look at that. Look at that. So now it's time for me to strain and sweeten 
to taste. Okay, guys? So I'm going to strain it and mix it to taste. Look at that. That's a beauty. Thank you very much. I'm going to strain and mix now. Stay tuned. I always knock the edge of the pot, innit? And I must say, I only Jamaican do that. Knock the edge of the pot to get off any little residue, any little. You understand? I saw it. Da 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 da. Christmas! A Christmas, we say! Hello, hello, hello! Wow! So it's that time now where I'm going to strain the sorrel. Everything here is washed and clean i can't emphasize that enough that you know everything is washed and clean all my utensils are washed so i'm going to dip that inside here and i'm going to i'm only going to strain a small amount if you notice i've got the calendar in the pot you see the pot there shine and clean don't you i've got the calendar in there i've got the strainer so basically um the strainer through to the calendar it takes out everything it's strained so if you look strain it out so i'm just going to to mix a little bit move in with my sugar and mix a little bit for you so also you know that the hibiscus let, let me give you a little facts here is that the hibiscus um the sorrel is known as the hibiscus flowers as well hibiscus plant and you know in jamaica they grow the white sorrel as well yep they growing white you have white sorrel and red sorrel so basically you can use this sorrel to glaze your ham or you can make sorrel cake but i won't tell you when i when i when i when i do my sorrel in them and i waste nothing you know let me show you me my hands wash already yeah let me can wash that again and show you mm -hmm. wash that get a towel and dry my hands so basically what me do me go in and me squeeze out every mortal coil out of this sorrel when i left nothing so i squeeze it out so nothing is left so i get all the goodness of it you can smell the ginger you can smell the aroma of everything it smells it as if it's, it tastes good already and we're not finish it so listen i'm gonna move in with my sugar and sweeten this so you can see me tasting that okay so look, I'm going to squeeze it and then put the pulp away. And you know, you can draw this again. Some people put it back in the pot, you know, and draw it again and get a second um, thing. Because if you notice that this one is so rich, look at that. It is so rich. Let me get another um, thing I'll show you how this rich. It is so rich. This is a, like a red. Look at that. That is so rich. Very rich. All right. So I'm going to sweeten that now. And taste it and let you know okay so have you noticed that I'm doing everything in the sink you know why <laughs> my god the sorrel is so strong it's staying up everything you know I have to just do everything so I'm gonna sweeten it now yeah so I'm going to move in with my two cups of sugar right remember if you're diabetic and you can't take sugar please be careful yeah take care and you can also not add sugar to this and it tastes refreshing just the same yeah so if you're a diabetic and you can't take sugar be mindful and sweeten to your taste okay and i would advise anyone that is drinking if you're making this soil and you're adding alcohol please advise everybody remember to tell the people them you know anybody where you serve this to tell them say them can't drink and drive because alcohol is in the something right remember that yeah please remember that okay please remember that so all right so and you know that sorrel has a tangy taste so you have to sweeten so it might take more sugar than you think yes sorrel is a very tangy sort of a fruit you know this the, the flowers the, the petals when you draw it it tangy so you have to add sugar according to your taste right and if the sorrel is sweetened you know and add um alcohol is added you can save this you know and it is classed as a wine yes once the alcohol added it can be classed as a wine trust me and you need to store it in glass container or take it straight to the fridge if no alcohol is added yeah so i'm going to add my add 
I'm just going to pour some in because I know how much I want in there. I just pour a little bit of red label wine in there. Oh, mighty God, the smell. And I'm going to move in with my J. Ray and Nephew. I'm just going to pour. This is like a little alcohol drink, you know, trust me. I'm going to pour this because I'm going to put it in a, in a bottle and keep it for a few weeks and months. You can do that, you know, trust me. It fermented once you put the rice in there, you know, it ferments. So here we go. It's very, look at that. Look how rich that is. Mmm. Wow, the rum and the wine and the ginger. It is evaporating some smell to me. Oh my God. Let me taste this now and tell you. Mmm. Oh, Jamaica, my grandmother. Oh, Auntie, oh my God. I remember when Auntie used to make this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mmm. And once you start drinking, you can't stop. Guys, so rich and nice. Mmm. When I hear me go along with the siren, man, me awful. It tastes good. Woo. And the ginger. Leave that little taste for your tongue. Wow. Guys, this is it now. It's finished now. Okay? That's how you make rich sorrel drink for Christmas. Right, these jars. These are my, this is my grandmother's um, jars. They call them Demijan over here. And I'll be storing my sorrel in this. Basically, my grandmother used to boil up her bushes them and they, you know, make those herbal teas and store in this. They call them Demijan. These are, when you, listen, when you pour your sorrel in this, you know, and when you open the cork, you just fly up. Yeah, man, these are the old time bottles that we call them. You see, they have the two hangers at the, the side. So I'm going to store my sorrel in this one. So yes, guys, that's it now. I'm finished now. I'm going to store my sorrel in here. Glass container. So if you look over here, I've got my sorrel here. Yes, I'm done now. So I'm going to be pouring my sorrel on my ice, my glass of ice. Yes, so here it is. It's done. So this is the traditional, authentic, original Jamaica Christmas sorrel drink. Have a look. Look at the color. Look at the flavor that it's coming off is so wow. There we go. So guys, give it a go for Christmas. Yeah. So thanks very much for watching this video this video may get tongue-tied now remember to give a thumbs up like share and subscribe so happy holidays and enjoy your sorrel drink well done if you get this far and thanks again for watching you won't regret doing this sorrel drink it is so lovely okay thank you very much look at that